Okay, today I've got a very special setup guide for beginners and people that call ourselves noobs or newbies. This is a full setup guide for the very awesome Nosslon front end system. So in this setup guide I'm going to be showing you how to install emulators using this front end, as well as importing your games, getting some cover artwork, and also looking at some more advanced systems such as the initial setup process for playing Wii games in Nosslon. So if you're a fan of Retrobat or something very basic like that, then Nosslon, without a doubt, is definitely for you. Check this one out. Before I start today's Nosslum front end setup guide for Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content on my channel, just Jamie. That just means you'll get up to date retro emulation setup guides like this one you're watching today, and it helps my channel out too. So, we're looking at perhaps the easiest front end system right next to Retrobat. In fact, I do believe this one's actually easier than Retrobat. So for those out there who consider yourself as noobies or noobs, as I read from time to time in my comments, definitely without a doubt this one's for you. Now I'm also going to need to apologise in advance, there's a very, very annoying dog barking. I've done everything I can to try and stop this noise, but I can't stop this noise. But anyways, let's get on with this and hopefully this dog you can hear barking won't prove to be so much of an annoyance like it is to me right now. So we're going to download Nosslon, and I'm going to leave the links in my description for this. And we're going to download the latest version of this, which released in January, actually. So Nosslon.setup.exe. And we're just going to let this one download. Nosslon does have a website, so you can check that out as well. And what we're going to do is just go to the setup just here. So left click on that one. Windows protected your PC. If you've got Windows 11, just go to more info, run anyway. And we're just going to let this install for a second. Okay, so we're now in Nosland, and this is it. It's pretty simple stuff. So what we need to do first is obviously select the language that we want. So it's going to be English in my case. Now at this point, I'm using my cursor, my mouse actually. You can use a controller with this, but I'm going to get onto that in a little while. So we're going to select English. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So we're going to just go to start setup now. Nosland setup. So what we need to do is actually choose an install location. So what I'm going to do is just let this go ahead and install in my documents. And it's going to create a new folder in this documents folder called MU. But I'm going to show you in a minute how to get to that. So if I just go to install documents, let that create a new folder called MU. Okay, so it's actually taken us straight here. So as we can see in documents and MU, we've got several folders here. Each one of these folders represents a system that Nosslin supports. Let's actually go back into Nosslin. If I go to finish setup, and what this does every time you launch is checks up for an update. And here we go. So support Nosslin for $2 a month, you can actually access premium features. However, if I go to remind me later, we can continue and use this. So the next thing we're going to see is we're going to need to install some games. Now, if we go to system just here, this is where we can start adding emulators, which we can actually do majority of the time directly through Nosslon. There are emulators here, which I'm going to do setup guides at later dates for things like PlayStation 3 and also Wii U. But the majority of these just here really is a simple case of just selecting your system. So I'm going to select NES. And it's going to say no NES games found just here. What I'm actually going to do first is install a Nintendo NES emulator. So I'm going to select install MFCEUX. If I left click on this one. And what this is doing is downloading it for us automatically. And it's going into that MU folder. And it's going to go into the NES folder. So we can see what's going on right just here. Now what we're going to do next is go back to Nosslon. As we can see, it's successfully downloaded and installed. If I just press OK on this, 
what we're going to do next is add some games. So if I go to NES, we're going to go to browse for a games folder. Now at this point, what we need to do is link this up to our games are located. So if I go to browse for games folder, from here, I'm going to just locate where my NES games are. And you're also going to notice at the top just here, it says game files must have the file extension, in this case .nes or .fds. If your NES games are in .zip, it isn't going to detect it. So I'm going to locate my Nintendo NES games. So my NES games are in this folder just here. If I just left click on that folder, go to select folder. And as you can see now, we're scanning my Nintendo NES collection. What this automatically does for you too is actually downloads the artwork for you. So depending how many games you've got on your computer, it's going to take longer in some cases. But if you've got a few games, then it's not going to take very long at all. So we're just going to let this scan for now. Okay, and after finally some time of just waiting for that process, we can see Nintendo NES artwork. And if I just scroll up and down, the whole screen is literally taken up with Nintendo NES games. So I think this looks pretty cool. So what we can do from here is actually boot up a game because we've already installed the emulator itself. Now, if I go for something like Power Blades 2. Okay, so before I start trying this out, what I need to do is press Escape on my keyboard and I'm going to go to Quit. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is just show you how to get to Nosslyn directory. So I've just installed it and as you can see there's actually no shortcut on my desktop. We've got the creation folder for your games to go in which is in documents in the emu folder. But like I say there's no actual shortcut to open it back up again. So the best way to do this is just search for it. So just type into your search bar Nosslyn. Now you're going to see I've got two just here. We've got a setup.exe. You don't want to be doing that. Otherwise, you're likely going to wipe all the progress you made. So just make sure you've got the correct one here. And if I just right click on this and go to open file location, here it is just here. And from here, I can actually right click on that, open file location, and here we go. And whilst I'm here, I'm going to make a shortcut this. So in future, instead of having to go through this palaver, what I can do is actually make this a shortcut on my desktop. So right click, send to, desktop, and there we go. And now my Bluetooth controller, Xbox controller is connected. If I just open up Nosslyn again. And here we go. So my controller is now working with this. Okay, so I'm going to randomly select Mega Man 2. And to open this, if I press the B button on my controller, it's going to bring us into a closer up image. And we can also go left and right to choose games from here. If I then press B on Mega Man 2, it's going to bring us to another image. And B again. And finally, we're going to play it with M hyphen FCEUX, which is the emulator that I downloaded and installed using Nosslyn. If I press B on this, And if I press escape on my keyboard, I can also access this by pressing a particular button on my controller. This is going to pause the game. So from here, I can choose load state, save state, I can mute it. I can even show console, which brings up a terminal. To actually quit out the game, we're just going to go to stop. And then from here, what we need to do is just go back. So one of the buttons on your controller is going to act as the back key. In my case, it's the A button. And that brings us back out again. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you is how to add Sega Mega Drive games. So I've got three games here for Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis. 
Each one of these are in .zip file extension. If I open up one of these, inside we got a MD file, which is Mega Drive file. What we're gonna do then is open up Noslin again, and we're gonna add. So what we need to do whilst we're in Noslin is just go to system, and it will say select a system. So in this case, I'm gonna go for Genesis, and of course, Genesis is also Mega Drive. Just select Genesis. This is going to bring up a picture of traditional Model 1 Mega Drive or Sega Genesis. What we're going to do is install emulator. So I'm going to install Web Retro. And just like the previous emulator I installed, it's built in it itself, as we can see just here. This is now built. So if I go back over to Noslin, install Web Retro, OK. Now what we're going to need to do is add some games. So again, I'm going to go back to Genesis. And we're going to browse for games folder. Now at the top just here, just like the Nintendo NES, you're going to notice that game files must have the file extension .md, .snd, .gen, and so on. Now just notice a minute ago, my games are in .zip file extension. They're not going to work. So what we need to do then is just extract these. So I'm using WinRAR. If I right click on each game, and the MD then comes out, and that's what we need. So WinRAR again, extract here, and we also got Sonic Hedgehog 3, so extract here again, and you can also delete those .zip files, we don't need those anymore. So back over on Noslin, if I just OK this in Browse for Games folder again, what I'm gonna do is just go over to my Mega Drive folder and just left click on it. If I select folder, it's then gonna start importing the games into Noslin complete with artwork, just like Nintendo NES. And as we can see, it's now scanned and recognized free games. So randomly, it's come up with these box art images, but they're going to work. And what we could actually do, if needs be, is actually Google these images and place them into the Nosslin Images folder. But let's just check if these games work. So I'm going to check out Robocop vs. Terminator, absolute classic. And again, it will zoom in, and looks like we got artwork missing for the Mega Drive cartridge as well. And play game with Retro Genesis Plus GX. And again, by pressing the escape button on the keyboard, I've also got the option here to load state and save state. If I go to save state, just left click on this or use your controller. And it's also going to give us a warning when you're saving your games. As it says, do not rename your ROM file after this. It's specific to the name of that ROM file. Okay. And if I press escape again, and what I'm going to do is go to load state. And as you can see, it just loaded back where I was originally. Again, now this time what I'm going to do is show you how to set up something like Wii. I'm not going to go all the way with Wii, but this is going to show you that we can actually go outside of Noslin to external places such as the Dolphin website in order to download and install emulators outside of Noslin. So if I just click on Wii just here, 
and what it's going to ask us for is to install Dolphin first. And if I left click on install Dolphin, it's going to bring up the MU folder where the emulator should be. So for this, what we're going to need to do is just head over to the Dolphin website. So this is Dolphin and what I'm going to do is just download Dolphin from Windows and I'm going to download the Windows x64 version. And here's the content. So we need to drag these contents into that directory, which is Dolphin just here. So if I highlight everything, left click and drag and drop. Okay, so here we go. So what I'm gonna do next is go back to Nosslin, okay? And what we're gonna do is install Dolphin. And this time it says you already have this emulator installed on your computer. So that's all set up. If I press okay on this, Next, it's going to ask us to browse for games. So for this, what I need to do is find my Nintendo Wii games. So I've got my Wii folder just here. And what I'm going to do, just like the other systems, just select folder. And it's then going to start importing the games over to Nosslin as well as downloading image art. So like I said, I've covered this particular emulator, which is Dolphin. And you can check that out in my standalone consoles playlist. And using that guide will help you emulate the nunchuck in the Wiimote with a conventional controller, say an Xbox controller. Okay, and once that's finished doing this thing, you should then have a complete screen of Wii games. So this is Wii games from my collection. And to open up one of these games, you can either go through the process with your controller, or you can even use the mouse if you want. For example, if I go for a need for speed to run, and open it again. And just bear in mind, these Wii games are unlikely going to run straight away from your controller. You will have to go into the emulator, Dolphin emulator itself, in order to configure that. But like I say, you can easily follow my Dolphin emulator setup guide, and that will explain everything from controller settings to enhancing video settings. So what we're going to do is open up the game. And we're going to play a game with Dolphin. And here we go, we're in. Now, like I say, it's totally worth your while in following my guide. Uh, for example, this is opened up in a window. Now, what I'm going to do just for this video is show you how to boot up your Wii games in full screen mode rather than window mode. So all we need to do is go to graphics and start in full screen. If I close out of here and close out a dolphin, if I then go to reopen my Wii game, open with dolphin, and here we go, we're booting straight into the game in full screen mode. But what I'll do for this is actually leave a link in my description so you can follow the Dolphin guide. And trust me, when I say you can make Wii games through emulation look amazingly great, because let's be honest, they didn't look great in their day, and they still don't today. This is why emulation is so great, especially for Wii games. You can make these games look outstanding. But anyways, escape, and we'll close out a Dolphin. That's going to bring us back into Nosslin again. And that's it for Nosslin front ends for Windows PC. So like I said at the start of the video, it's a very basic front end system for people out there who likely refer to themselves as newbies or noobs. So hopefully I've got you the basics of setting this up. And what I'm going to do in the near future is actually do more setup guides based around Nosslin for systems such as PlayStation 3 and even Wii U. And hopefully over time, the development team behind Nosslin is going to incorporate new systems. Uh, as we can see in this video, it supports around 20 systems. But from the last version of Nosslin, the development team has added a couple of extras in there. So anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like. And also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.